Step 1. In order for us to create skins for our game, we need to create multiple player prefabs. So to do this, let's drag into our scene an already existing prefab that we made. Let's unpack this prefab and create a new custom material out of, this, uh, out of the already existing textures. I'll leave this texture I made inside of the Discord free assets area for anyone to use. Please note that it does not have to be a texture edit, you can use an entirely different model for this method. I've just gone ahead and edited the, the, uh, the texture because that is just the easiest thing for me to do right now. Step 2. Now we actually need to create our new item inside of our Playfab dashboard. So go ahead and head over to the economy area and our catalogs and our skin catalog that we created in the last video. I'm going to call this skin blue wave and make sure the you remember the item ID because this item ID is something that we will be referencing inside of our script. Um, in order for us to select what uh, owned skins that our player currently has. After doing this, I then set the current amount uh, in order to purchase this skin to 600 using the currency that we also made in the last video. Next, inside of our Photon Manager script, at the very bottom, we want to create a new public class. I've named this player Skins, and inside of this, we want to create two public variables. One a string called Playfab Item ID, and the other called Prefab. We want to make sure that we make this class a system.serializable, uh, because if we don't, then we won't be able to see it inside of our Unity Inspector. At the top of the Photon Manager, we now want to add a public player skins array called All Player Skins. Now we want to populate this All Player Skins array. Right now we only have one skin, so that is what we're going to set up. So we're just going to set the size to 1. We're going to change the Playfab item ID to that that we set inside of our Playfab uh, dashboard. And we are just going to drag in our Prefab from our Resources folder. Next, back inside of our Photon Manager, Underneath our player skin array, we want to create a new list of player skin, and we're going to call this owned player skins. Now, moving over to our Playfab Authenticator, at the top of the script, we want to create a new public list of item instance. I'm going to call this item instance, and make sure it is equal to a new list of item instance. Now, inside of our request photon token method, we want to set our item instance to our object or info result payload dot user inventory. We want to get a reference to our photon manager using get component photon manager. We then want to iterate over our item instances. We then also want to iterate over our player skins, our, our all of our player skins. After that, we then want to check if our current player skin item ID is equal to our current item ID inside of our player instance. And if it is, we want to add the current item inside of our owned player skins. And now, if you have followed the tutorial correctly up until this point, if we now grant our, uh, the user our new skin through our Playfab dashboard, we can see that he will load that skin into the owned player array when he first logs in. So you can see in this example that I'm doing now, when we first log in without the item, our owned player skins, uh, we don't have any. And then afterwards, once I edit the, or rather grant the item to our current user, the game will then load the skin into the owned player skin. Now this will do it for this episode of our Fall Guys clone tutorial. Next episode, we're going to go get into how we can actually display some sort of skin menu and some sort of shop menu for our users to buy and load skins into the current game that they are playing. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give it a like. And if you want to see more, subscribe. I appreciate it a lot. If you guys need any help, we do have a Discord server, so feel free to join that. Um, and again, thank you. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.